Well, friends, this is the adventure part in milling. I had about a few hours to dedicate to milling this afternoon, so I come out here, I grab a log from the pile, and the first thing, after getting it up on the mill, of course the bark was already starting to come off, so anytime I do that, I'll go ahead and get that bark off of there. But uh, right there, sticking out plain as day, was a few pieces of fencing wire, just sticking straight out of the bark. So I took my saw, cut into it, and figured uh, if it didn't go too deep, I could salvage the log. And I still may be, may be able to do that, but uh, I got about three inches deep into this log, and there is a nail that was holding the wire. There's still some stuff in here. And uh, right up here is all the chips I had to dig away to get down to that metal. Right here's another piece of wire that was sticking out through the bark. Looked like somebody used a nail to bend over it. I mean, there could be wire all up through here. I could take my metal detector and check it, but I don't know how deep that's going. I'm still digging, but that's just the joys of milling right there. Here's another piece that had some wire sticking out of it that I dug out. You can't just throw logs up on your mill and just go to milling. There's another piece of wire. I've hit metal twice in 60 hours on this mill. And the blade I got on here now has only cut one log so far. There's another piece of metal. Stranded wire. There's no telling what the, pe the person had nailed to this. This is the butt end down there. I'm about four foot up from the butt end where it was uh, cut down. So that is about the right height for fencing. I had about a couple hours to dedicate, and now here I am doing this. I've already been out here an hour beating on this log. When I should have just set it to the side and grabbed another one and kept going, but I just wanted to see how deep this went. There's another fragment right there. Look like the head of a nail or a staple or something. I want to damage another blade. I'm going to dig a little further here. All right, dug a little deeper. I think I got the other nail out here. Get it back where you can see it. There's the wire again that came out. I'm pretty sure they just had the nails bent around this wire holding it in. But that's the trouble you get into when, uh, especially if you get logs from around uh, home places or homes in general. You can just about guarantee there's been a nail drove in those trees anywhere around the house. Especially your home places because, you know, they've hung clotheslines. People still use clotheslines. You know, people had their clotheslines up. They might have had a dog tied out. Might have hung a birdhouse. You never know what it is. But uh, I think I've got all that debris out. But I'm still not too keen about running this brand new blade through this log. So I may just take it back off the mill lay it to the side and I'll hit it with a metal detector a little later and for reference this tree is 20 inches at the butt I had to go about four inches deep I went into that so I'm still not sure I got every little shard out of there but uh, here is again the debris I dug out of this log Got it laid up on a piece of cardboard so you can see it better. And this is only part of it. Some of it's still embedded in the chips that I dug out of here that you saw earlier. But uh, we got a little bit of stranded wire, a couple of nails. I believe this is the head off of this nail. Piece of fencing wire. I'm not sure what was going on here. I'll take you in a little deeper and let you see that. Four inches deep into that log. And there could still be something down in there. So what I may do, like I would mentioned, is just uh, set this log to the side, put the metal detector to it. And if I get any more hits on it, I'm, I'll just scrap the whole log. It's not a big deal. I probably got a thousand logs laying around here up on runners. It's not going to bother me. Although this was a nice log, it was 20 inches on the butt down there. And up on this end, I guarantee you it's at least 16 inches. That would have been some good lumber right there. Got all the bark off of it. And I could probably get at least a, a good eight foot, 
eight and a half out of what's left here. I could probably salvage that, but you know, like I mentioned, there's no telling that there's more places. If it was a fence, it kind of don't look like it. It kind of looks like they just took and bent a wire up here and nailed it for some odd reason. Maybe it was a cable. They had a roadway cable across the road or something. You never know. And as deep as that wire was at four inches, these this is a tight grain pine. These rings, let's see if we can come in here and look at them. It's not a good view, but they're very tight together. And seeing as how tight those things are, I'm already counting like 20 rings. About an inch down, inch and a half, two inches. So man, this thing was probably nailed in this tree at least 50 years ago or better. Those rings are pretty tight. I get that smooth, I could really count them. Okay, there's nothing I hate more than, uh, than a poor guess. So what I did was I went ahead and shaved the butt flat. I threw some water on this little cookie I cut off so I could count the rings and find out the exact age of this tree. Now counting from the very first ring here, this is how you tell the age of a tree. For anybody that don't know, if you're watching this video, you probably know. But uh, each ring represents one year of growth. As you can see, this is a slow growth pine. I counted exactly about 84 rings. And right where I cut into the log at, you can see there's a little hump right here. And also, there's this little crack in here giving me a directional so I can pinpoint exactly where I was at. Right about here in this dip represents that dip, which is in line with where I dug in. So I measured in four inches to determine that this nail, this cable, was driven into this tree right around 41 years ago. Now I'm 44. So that was in the early 80s when someone drove this cable up. Or whatever this was they put in here. So uh, yeah that's kind of neat. You can kind of go back and tell the age of when something was done. I know I said 50 earlier. That was a uh, roughly a close guess. I mean, I wasn't too bad off when I threw that number out there, but I got to thinking about it, and I said I cannot close this video out without uh, going back and doing a little uh, scientific study here. <laughs> I'm not a scientist, but man, I hate that. Just a waste. But we'll see. Anyway, thank you if you took the time to watch this. I appreciate you. Like, share, subscribe. Just a quick little video I didn't even know I was going to make, but uh, just wanted a lot of people to realize if you're going to have a meal, you need to have a metal detector. You need to inspect your logs before you just go swinging a blade through them because those blades are about $30 a piece. Now, I know that's not a terrible lot of money, but... You just don't know the disappointment when you've got a brand new blade on a meal and you hit a piece of metal and you've got zero lumber out of that blade. That sucks. Sometimes I've been able to resharpen the blade. It didn't get beat up too bad and was able to use it again. But most of the time when you hit metal, it's over. Game over. That's $30 you just threw out the window there, bro. Anyway, thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.